Here we all back at it again with more tips. This one's gonna be about the awesome Lumen. Obviously Lumen leads to a load of new possibilities with getting creative with ease using lighting in Unreal. Lumen is a global illumination method, which means it's lighting up everything at once. That means it can always be dynamically changed. All the reflections, all the shadows are all calculated as part of one system. Um, so Lumen uses mesh distance fields and sine distance fields and global distance fields along with a bit of ray tracing as well uh, and all of these calculations are kind of done in one process now mesh distance fields are a little more detailed and you can enable them on a mesh to mesh basis uh, and they'll be uh, you know a little more detailed a little crisper and global distance fields will be your kind of general global illumination of your scene uh, it's super cool technology and it's super smart the idea of it is to make these light computations run better and essentially it's trying to leave the creator more room to just play and not worry about uh, the kind of more old school old school game creation methods of baking lighting and worrying about limits on the amount of lights you can put in your scenes and things like that um, sounds super awesome although lumen is really awesome and really fun it's not without its limitations and you might actually find yourself wanting to pair back to kind of more traditional game making methods of baking lighting and things like this uh, in order to avoid some of these seams in the next few videos we'll go through a couple kind of techniques Techniques that could help you optimize your scene especially for live uh, baking lighting and stuff like this would be way better for keeping those precious frames per second when creating a live scene uh, but first off I'm just going to show you a few things that lumen is really good for uh, lumen and ray tracing uh, and then I'll show you the first limitation and then in the next video we'll look at fixing that so let's jump into it <laughs> Okay, so I thought I'd just jump into this kind of really wacko scene I've got going on. Basically chucking stuff in here to see, you know, what causes seams and what doesn't. This kind of setup is quite interesting. This setup in here is something I made for a dome master projection. Um, I'll just show you it in general. It's just a big sphere with a material on it. And the material is just um, the simple panner, panning at. 0.02 speed with this simple texture I got from Unsplash uh, that I've made tileable and then given it an emissive color as well and then that that material is just panning around this sphere and what it was originally for was this um uh dome master set up here So this Dome Master cell was quite interesting. If I hide this render target, let's check out this Dome Master render target. Got this kind of upward facing, pointing up at the top of the sphere. You get you get this nice output. It's in 360 uh, because this because this reflective floor does make this very nice output. This is just a nice nice setup for a Dome Master projection, reflective floor and stuff. Uh, and this, this is actually a good example of something that works really well with Lumen. So all my global illumination settings and everything are set to lumen at the moment jump back into this one um so yeah as you can see the reflections in this kind of sphere setting are really really nice um getting these amazing reflections here you know it's just one reflective material and it is just a perfect mirror so lumen and ray tracing are actually really good for things like this like these real-time reflection captures um i'll just show you if you go edit project settings type reflection show you what happens when you click between these reflection methods so here's none it's just not updating it's just showing the reflection from outside of the scene sort of to be expected it's just a a single kind of reflection thingy it's not updating based on this dome if you go lumen do you get something going on not too bad but it's a bit seamy there's some seams going on and these kind of seams you'll quite often see with fully reflective materials and lumen and if you go screen space this makes even more sense because it screen space reflections are uh, if we take a look at this this very bottom square here that is that's what it's using to calculate the reflections that's why you're only getting a square there so that's quite interesting so like any part of any part of this is visible up here so you're only getting that bit of reflection quite interesting but it's obviously not what we want then when you go to ray trace it's ideal it's exactly what we want no seams it's kind of worth flicking through these reflection methods and global illumination methods 
we can do a combination you know all our all our global illumination is done through lumen that's all done through lumen and you can see it is it is slightly uh brighter i need to check, take the reflection reflection method off lumen again now yeah automatically change that yeah so that's really nice so yeah generally um uh, that is one thing that lumen does really well for uh if you've got like one kind of lighting setting you're not going from dark to light and you want some like really nice reflections going on you can just keep that combination of ray tracing and lumen and you get some you get these really nice real-time reflections um and carries through to 360 really nicely this flicker here is just a bit of a bug i think you can just restart and that won't always come up uh it definitely won't come up in render so yeah reflections that's one thing the lumen does really well um i'll just show you one drawback of keeping the lumen setting on um it's also also just deals quite well in these kind of gloomy lighting scenarios but say we got the directional light out and we got a bit more bit more contrast of the lighting going on here and this kind of dark to light dark to light scenario this is where you'll start to get a little bit of seams going on you can see there's a few here as you go sort of under this under this area so if you're sort of going from outside to inside that can cause some issues so this is where you may want to stray away from lumen um and i'll show you a good workaround for that next time so yeah your global illumination method might not want to say it's lumen but it can deal pretty well with reflections and then also if you're in a massive reflective area like this you might want to think about switching to ray traced over lumen um but yeah those are the settings i found that are really good for this kind of setting you're, you're jamming with the hottest disc jockey.